Kyoto team. So we got a couple of heavyweight results. Both were very quick affairs. Uh, first and a second round stoppage. But there's a couple of articles in the description there so you can read about them yourself. But firstly we had Michael Hunter versus Fabio Maldonado who I thought would go some rounds having never been stopped and he's faced two good opponents uh, that he lost to in his last two fights in Oscar Rivas and Alexander Teslenko. Uh, Michael Hunter came out in the first round, was very relaxed, in control, nothing too fancy but came out with real intent in the second round, forced a standing eight count initially and then poured it on some more knocked Fabio down a couple more times before the referee stopped the fight so a very good win for Michael Hunter you stack him up he knock him down so he'll be moving up ranking some more I'd like to see him in a competitive contender fight next uh, Maldonado was a pretty soft opponent only lasting 1 minute and 45 seconds into the second round the next fight after that was Philip Hergovic versus Gregory Corbin. I expected Hergovic to get this guy out of there within six, but he stopped him a minute into the first round. Corbin came out showing some intent, which was good to see, but Hergovic stayed composed, used his feet, used his jab. Uh, Corbin came forward with a big body jab and tried to walk forward with his arm out. And Hergovic kind of controlled him with his left hand, got him where he wanted to, and then stepped back and came over the top with a short right hand in close and put Corbin down heavy. He did get up and beat the count, but was in no condition to continue. Um, even if they did let it go on, I don't think it would have lasted another 20 seconds uh, the way Corbin was looking, so I thought it was a good stoppage from the referee. So they both move on, um, there was some uh, commentary from the guys we were talking about Hergovic versus Joyce somewhere down the line, um, they have history, uh, Hergovic lost a split decision in the World Series of Boxing to Joe Joyce, I think that's a good matchup after both of them having uh, easy wins lately so let's get on with it and get that fight made. I'd love to see it. But uh, to finish off, have a listen to what Philip Hergovic had to say after his fight. Outside of this country, and I ask you, would you be nervous in your first fight in the United States? One minute in the first round. Did you feel like you fought in the United States yet? <laughs> hey man, it happened in boxing. Uh, great, Greg Corbin is a great fighter. Thank you for accepting this challenge. I'm glad to be here. Thank you to USA, thank you to Maryland, thanks to Eddie Hearn, thanks to Tim Sauerland. And it's really an honor for, mo for me to box on this great event. Thank you very much. You told me you didn't spend a lot of time watching any tape, that if you were fighting at your best, there was nothing anyone can do. Did we see your best tonight? Uh, we didn't had time to see best Philip Hergovic, but uh, I'm looking forward to, to big fights, to, to strong opponents, and to give the USA fans uh, great fights. Well, it's funny you would say that, because Eddie Hearn recently said that he's looking forward to you facing Joe Joyce. Is that something you want to do soon? Look, I told him, I told Tim Sauerland, I will, I will face anyone any time in heavyweight, di oh, in heavyweight division. Oh. Well, hopefully the next time we see you, we can actually see you. Congratulations, fantastic. Thank you. So yeah, he wants to fight anybody, let's get it. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Big Boys Boxing, we out. See you.